just a quick disclaimer before this video starts today is the 15th of june 2022 as i'm recording this and this video will be going out on the 18th of june 2022 which is saturday so sorry if my voice still sounds fucked up in this video i have a really fucking nasty cold that i had in the first two streams and it's still not going away so bear with me for however the fuck long this cold's gonna last because it's getting really annoying and it's fucking up my voice i don't know what to say so thank you for watching the kingdom hearts series has a quite unique system when it comes to leveling up because we as the player get to pick the way we want to level up this is already seen in the kingdom hearts one intro at the very beginning of the game during the awakening sequence where we get to choose one weapon to prioritize and what to give up but how do our choices affect us later in the game well for example if you choose to prioritize the shield you will get access to more defense based abilities like second chance and for example if you choose to give up the sword you'll not get as many strength abilities or you might get them at the, at the much later point in the game. The weapon you choose neither to give up or prioritize in this example would be the staff it will kind of be in the middle of this whole thing, so neither will you get the magic based abilities and MP upgrades very early or very late in the game. Now that I have explained that, here comes the main question of this video. What weapon should I prioritize or give up at the beginning of Kingdom Hearts 1? This is highly depending on your playing style. If you are one to rely on physical attacks like me, I would recommend giving up the staff and prioritizing the sword. However, if you are one of a magic user, I would really advise you to give up the sword. Uh, why not the shield, you may ask? Well, I really wouldn't advise you to give up the shield, even though a lot of a lot of people do that. But I really wouldn't, especially not if you are playing on proud mode, because having an ability like second chance... ...is a huge help, especially on proud mode. Oh, no! Where you can die really quickly against most enemies. You can only allow yourself up to two or maybe three hits if you're lucky before you die. However, everything I said here is based solely on my personal experience with King Hearts 1 over the years. That being said, if my advice doesn't really work for you, feel free to tell me what you would do differently in the comments. Until the next video or stream, thank you for watching and goodbye.